So I have a confession to make. Um, like a lot of journalists, when Julian first arrived on the scene, I didn't like him. Um, among other things, he had cool hair, he was skinny, uh, he even did fashion week here in London, I think, uh, at one point. Uh, and among other things, he was breaking all these huge stories. And really, just to get down to it, I, I was jealous. Uh, I'm going to admit it. Um, we're in London, so I might as well quote Shakespeare, you know, beware the green on, like monster who doth mock the meat it feeds on, and all that. We journalists were jealous of Julian Assange, and I didn't have a good reason for being jealous of him, so I invented one. And the reason I invented was, I didn't like the idea of radical transparency. I thought, this is irresponsible, how can you just dump all these secrets on people? They have to be filtered out by responsible people. And I thought, I thought of myself as a free thinker at the time. And I was so brainwashed that I forgot, as a lot of people forget, that secrets do not belong to governments. Secrets don't belong to governments. Information, all this information, belongs to us. Governments govern at the consent of the governed. If they want to keep secrets, they have to do it with our permission. If you're okay with this happening to Julian Assange, you better be okay with it happening to a whole lot of other people, because that's going to be uh, the reality in about 10 minutes.